up, world? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm going to show you how to create an Android backup without even having to bother with recovery. So if you have a custom recovery installed, the first thing you probably should have done as soon as you finish installing it was to create an Android backup. But if you didn't do this, I'm not here to judge. In fact, I'm actually going to show you a much easier way to do it. And if you're not familiar with the term Android, let me explain that one real quick. The entirety of your phone's core operating system is stored on what is known as flash memory. This memory uses a NAND gate, short for not AND, to record and store your current setup. So to create a an Android backup means to save a snapshot of the current state of your flash memory and the Android system files that lie therein. This would definitely come in handy if you ever end up soft bricking your device, since you could then just restore your Android backup and immediately revert to the way things were before they got screwed up. But normally this process involves booting into your custom recovery and putting your phone out of commission while it performs the backup. Well, thanks to developer Thomas Otero, we no longer have to suffer through this complicated process to make sure that we have an Android backup to restore from. His app, Online Android Backup, allows rooted users to create an Android backups from within Android. Even better, you can continue using your phone while the backup process runs in the background. So to get the app installed, just search Online Android Backup on the Play Store. Once you've got that out of the way, let's open it up and check out the setup process. The first thing it does is ask for super user privileges, so grant it those. Let me warn you up front, this app has a lot of options, but we'll just key in on the important ones. With the first option, you can set how you'd like your backups to be named. By default, it uses the current date to name them, so that's probably the best way to go. The next one is very important though. Different custom recoveries save Android backups in different formats, so you'll have to let the app know which format to use by choosing your recovery type in this menu. If you're using TWRP, which you totally should be, make sure to change this setting from its default value. Then below that, you can set what partitions you want to have backed up. The default values are fine here. Next, you can choose a save location for these files. Put them in a folder that's easy to remember, or just leave it on the default, which is the root directory of your SD card. This next one is a cool one. You can set how many backups to keep at one time. Remember, these backups are a complete copy of your system, so the files can get pretty big. I'd recommend setting this to one or two for that reason. Beyond that, there's a few more options for minor cache and file type related things. But when you're done setting everything up, just hit the save icon at the top right. Now, all that's really left to do is to make the backup. Just hit quick backup to start that process, then you'll see a confirmation dialog, so tap start backup. At this point, it's safe to go on about your day. You can leave the app, play games, do whatever it is you wanted to do, and all the while the backup will be processing in the background. The app posts an ongoing notification while it's working on your backup so it won't get cleared from memory by Android. Depending on your device and current setup, this can take anywhere from 10 minutes to half an hour. But when it's done, you can have peace of mind knowing that if you ever screw something up, you can always just boot into custom recovery and restore the backup that you just made. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.